It's 446 and a local 13 year old should be starting eighth grade, right? Yeah. Well, instead, <laughs> he's going to college right here in Atlanta. This is really cool. Caleb Anderson attended his first day of classes at Georgia Tech. Our own Fred Campagna caught up with him. Caleb. Look at this. Caleb Anderson was reading at a year old in first grade at two, middle school at nine, high school at 10, and college at 12. Those numbers don't make much sense, but the ones that do to Caleb are an integral calculus, his first class as a 13-year-old at Georgia Tech. It's honestly a nightmare. It's terrifying. Um, you know, a lot of people think that, you know, this stuff comes easy to me. It does not. Easy or not, it all adds up to Caleb being the youngest aerospace engineering student in university history. You know, not only, you know, and I'm, am I young, you know, I'm also a young black male. And, you know, I know a lot of people see um, people like me, you know, um, you know, in a negative light. So, you know, I'm really glad that, you know, I'm able to, you know, set up positive example. With such a smart and self-driven child, Caleb's parents work hard to keep him grounded. This teenager still lives at home, his father playing chauffeur from class to class on campus. It's about um, providing a safe environment for him, right? So a safe environment, you know, for him to be able to say I've, I've had enough, a safe environment, you know, whatever, whatever he needs. Only about 20% of high school students who apply make it into Georgia Tech. So for Caleb to get in at age 12 is pretty remarkable. But his mom says there may be a lot more kids like him, but they just weren't given the same opportunities. It was great that not only were, um, was Kobe able to provide for us as a family, and provide a safe home for me to be able to stay home and nurture Caleb. What's the most 13 year old thing about Caleb? His answer rings true. I sleep in a lot. That I am not a morning person <laughs> at all. As for Caleb's major, aerospace engineering, he already has designs on working for SpaceX, but he's leery of the hours. I heard that some interns work like what? Uh, 12 hours, which to me, um, you know, I did again mention that I'm very lazy, but I can't, I don't know if I can do that. You got this, Caleb. Reach for the stars, settle for Mars. Wow. Being the mama of two 13 year olds, I can attest to the fact they like their sleep. Right. For sure, right? <laughs> that is fabulous, Fred. Yeah, he was, so, he was such a cool kid. You know, it's funny, I asked him, he started middle school when he was like eight, nine years old. Right. So, and he started high school at 10. I said, do you think this will be a harder transition going into college at 13 than mm -hmm. it was then? And he actually said he thought maybe that middle school transition was the hardest because he looks back as a now an old 13 year old. Right, right, right. <laughs> at some of the things, he said, some of the things I said when I was nine in middle school, I just want to curl up right now and cry because of it. <laughs> <laughs> Good for him for skipping all of that right there, right? Yeah. Oh, that's great. That is cool. Yeah. Good Super things nice ahead. Guy. Yeah, and Rodney, good news. I asked him flat out, do you have any designs on being a TV meteorologist? And then I said, just please say no. A, resound <laughs> a resounding no. <laughs> Caleb, you're way too smart to do this. Way too smart to try to figure out whether it's going to be 92 or 93 or 94 <laughs> this afternoon. Do something more important with your skills. Uh, here's a look right now over Midtown. It is a warm start.